Right now, a familiar face in Georgia now, officially running for public office again. This time, he wants to be the state's next governor. Former Senator David Perdue making the announcement just hours ago on his social media. I'm David Perdue. I'm running for governor to make sure Stacey Abrams is never governor of Georgia. The Republican will challenge incumbent Governor Brian Kemp in the GOP primary next year. His campaign already targeting Democrat Stacey Abrams, who launched her run for governor just days ago. And with Purdue's announcement today, political insiders are anticipating a bitter and divisive Republican primary between him and Kemp. 11 Alive's Doug Richards spoke to supporters who say it puts them in a bind that they would rather not be in. Voters here in Coweta County supported Governor Brian Kemp when he ran for office in 2018 with nearly 70 percent of the vote and when Senator David Perdue ran two years later by about the same amount. I'm a fan of both of them, yes. Tony Knowles of Sharpsburg was happy to support Perdue last year and Kemp in 2018, but running against each other? I'm going to support Kemp. Knowles says he's with Kemp. Yeah, I like Perdue, yeah. I mean, if, if he were running and Kemp wasn't running, you know, then I would I would vote, I would support him. Are you a fan of Kemp? He sort of let me down. Lewis Carroll says uh, Kemp let him down by declining to intervene on behalf like of former President Donald Trump, Trump when Trump was trying to challenge the election last year that delivered Georgia's electoral votes to Democrat Joe Biden. Trump's lasting scorn has followed, and Trump is expected to back Purdue against Kemp. I would much rather see Purdue in there than Kemp, just hands down. Uh, Brian Kemp is, I don't know where he's, I don't know where any of, like he's not a George, he don't seem like a George boy to me. I'm David Perdue. I'm running for governor. In an announcement video, Perdue said he likes his former ally, but said he, Perdue, has a better chance of beating Democrat Stacey Abrams in November. Kemp beat Abrams in 2018. Purdue lost to Democrat John Ossoff in January in the U.S. Senate runoff. Does Purdue challenging Kemp Make Stacey Abrams more electable? Absolutely. I think he, Kim's done a good job. Knowles says he's a fan of President Trump, but also thinks Trump should stop trying to influence Georgia politics. I do like Trump, but I think that Trump needs to go away. <laughs> I think uh, we'd all be better off if uh, we put that in the past and move on. Meantime, Democrats are hoping Purdue and Kemp tear each other up in the primary while Democrat Stacey Abrams faces no opposition until next fall. And also on the Republican primary ballot, former Democratic Georgia Representative Vernon Jones and local Board of Education member Candace Taylor, who also ran for Johnny Isaacson's Senate seat last year.